Today is, um, according to my diary this morning, it is going on 8.30 in the morning on a Saturday. I'm sitting here in my main study, writing in my diary. I'm getting my uh, August 2016 diary ready. I've got some paper out, I've got some folders to put on the, usually yeah, when I um, when I, uh, I use this marker and then I um, put on my thing here August 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 2016 and then I put this inside see that's what I do so I got that all ready for next month and I wrote in my diary this morning I'm on page I'm already on page 623 in an hour and about an hour and a 20 minutes I'll be leaving for the book nook but I thought I would show you my I have in my main study my Robert Stone collection uh, Robert Stone is one of my favorite American writers uh, this is his novel uh, no these are his stories Bear and His Daughter stories and then I have his uh, Hall of Mirrors. Uh, it says back here, Newsweek, a surrealistic vision of a New Orleans rife with political paranoia. He writes scenes that are set pieces of hilarity and horror. His characters are robust and brimming, brimming with antidote. So that's the Hall of Mirrors. And then I have the Dog Soldiers by Robert Stone and then his novel Bay of Souls by Robert Stone. Here's a nice picture of Robert Stone. And then his novel A Flag for Sunrise by Robert Stone. Uh, Outer Reach Outer Bridge Reach a novel by Robert Stone. He likes to sail. You can see right here his sailboat. Uh, here's another. Uh, this is a hardback of The Dog Soldiers by Robert Stone. And his novel Children of Light by Robert Stone. He looks younger in this photo. And then his, uh, one of my favorite novels by him is Damascus Gate by Robert Stone. And then he wrote this uh, memoir, Prime Green, Remembering the 60s, by Robert Stone. And then, I think this is his last novel before he died, The Death of the Black-Haired Black Girl, by Robert Stone. So yeah, that's my Robert. I keep these up there by Proust, up on my top shelf. See, the top shelf is up there. See, Robert... You see Bruce, James Joyce, I keep them up there. Uh, somebody mentioned, uh, in a, I think it was Conrad mentioned uh, Bear and his daughter's stories as one of his favorite collection of short stories and I agree with him. So that's my Robert Stone collection. I thought I'd show you guys this morning. Yeah, so I go to the book nook this morning, the used bookstore, library used bookstore, and I'm thinking I'll take this to read uh, The Art of Flight by Sergio Peto. So that's what I plan to do today. Uh, not much else going on. So yeah, that's my Robert Stone collection over there. See?
can't go wrong reading Robert Stone. I also like Richard Ford, uh, Richard Rusko, uh, uh, so yeah, someday I'll show you my Richard Ford collection and Richard Rusko, but can't go wrong reading Robert Stone. I really like the Hall of Mirrors. So yeah. So I'll put these back up there on the top shelf and hoping you have a good good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.